Oh yes, back. Okay, finish up the gray tech slop, and then we'll see where we go from there. But uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, the volume thing. That's right. I got to turn the volume all the way up. Hopefully, that'll be good enough. Uh, so, you know, there's no objective as in one ultimate right answer, and all the rest are wrong, which is implied when people say that things are correct. I mean, it's all. Yeah, well, I don't know where you go with that, right? I mean, you can make categorical statements, categorical statements, um, you know, basically stating that something either is in a category or it's not in a category. And if you make these categories precise enough, the statement can be infallible and decisive. Um, again, things are white, things are black. They are. There's such a thing. And the, all the shades in between have categorical description. And this is just a pile of crap. It's implied by people there's always one right thing that's correct, and everything else is incorrect. Yeah, that's right. More correct, better, best. Yeah, these are all the standards. It's gold medal, silver, bronze, blah, blah, blah. So... If that's the case, then surely maybe there's one correct objective definition and all the rest of them, and all the dictionaries are wrong. Well, you can make faces about dictionary definitions, but they are wrong, okay? It's wrong to have more than one definition for a word. And the fact that we have more than one definition for words is a flaw in language. It isn't something like language was right and we've got it wrong who claim that it's not right to have more than one definition for a word. No, it's just that people were lazy and sloppy, and language was built one word at a time, and it was done badly. But if you were going to do it logically and precisely, you wouldn't have words. You wouldn't have the same word mean different things. It's stupid. There's no need to have the same word mean different things. And it is completely corrosive to communication to have words that mean different things. You can't understand that? Oh, that's right. You just didn't even think about it. This is just a... You're a derpity derpity doody dude. Derp. Uh, or, it's or, um, language is not objective. Well, you know, making these stupid faces and playing the little game here, who's, who, la language is only objective in the sense that there's parts of language that are completely usable, functional, and when people are reasonable, we have common definitions of what we're saying. There, there's no need for exquisite precision in most communication unless somebody is gaming the language, unless they're evading what is being said, or trying to distort what is being said, which you commonly and constantly do. Now, we can strive to make it more objective than we do, which is why we have all them big words that I, uh, that, uh, what are the terms uses. <coughs> well, I don't think those words are at all useful. Those big words aren't necessarily more precise at all. They're silly words that he'll throw into the mix, and and words that don't have any explicit definition. Um, you know, words like um, what's the one they're always using? That stupid intuition word, silly word. Um, but uh, it's always a striving. It's always a trying to make things more accurate, not making them truth. Uh, but well, whatever. More accurate versus true. I mean, whatever. Distinction without a difference, that's right. The idea is, in some cases, it's necessary to be exquisitely precise, like you're doing delicate brain surgery. And other times you're just, uh, you know, whatever, taping up a wound, and it just doesn't have to be precision anymore. That there's distinctions you can make about what's necessary for a circumstance or for a statement. How much is riding on it. Fucker. Come on, YouTube. Language correctly. See, language is not objective. It's an intersubjective agreement. 
In key, in key, in key, in key. Well, that's the whole problem. It's not an inner subjective agreement. That's why there's different definitions in the dictionary. It just breaks all that inner subjective agreement crap. So, yeah, it's not inner subjective agreement. And that's the problem. As a whole. But language is. We agree what words mean. Okay. We hear a word being used, and there's already an intersubjective agreement in place, and then we try and figure out what that word means based upon the context of the sentence. What we're trying to figure out is what that intersubjective agreement is. Okay. People have agreed on what the word means, and we're trying to figure out what they mean. Okay. It doesn't mean that... Yeah, right. And you're the one, look again, you're the one gaming the language. You're the one who posts this stupid idiotic wordplay where you have a word that doesn't mean the same thing and, and, the, and you're using it twice in a sentence and, and with different meanings or different strengths to meanings. So again, you're the one playing the game with language. You're the one trying to manipulate the language. So don't be claiming that you're somebody looking to clarify. You're looking to distract to, to take the eye off the ball by playing word games, you stupid weasel. Say that's the truth that's being espoused. That's what people have agreed on what that word means. That's what's being espoused. <coughs> so, there's no such thing as correct use of the, usage of the language. There's only agreed upon usage of the language. Well, whatever. whatever. I mean, to, to, not, to say there's no such thing as correct is idiotic. There's people who use words that are completely wrong. They say something like, horse feathers, or something stupid, um, you know, and, and so they all the time make mistakes with language, they use words that aren't the appropriate words, so this is just bullshit again, fuck you. still work with that, and we do work with it every day. I mean, if, I, if I'm saying this is the case, this is all intersubjective agreement, and people say, oh, you can't work with intersubjective agreement, it's like, hello, oh, we are working with intersubjective agreement. Um, yeah, whatever. Like I said, there's just no point. There's, the, the simple uh, fact is is that you want to put things in categories, and that should be the agreement, is that when it's in a category, it's in a category. Let's agree on the categories. Let's make it as clear and precise as we need to. That should be the intersubjective agreement, but this idea that we're going to have some vague rule that, okay, well, we sort of kind of agree vaguely about this idea of a concept. Well, that's not going to work. Agreeing to leave everything cloudy and fuzzy would be nonsensical. But anyway, uh, he, he says, he then says, objective existence of X equals X as objectively existing. Now, I don't deny that at all. I mean, that's pretty much what I said. I, I, I don't think I need to point out, uh, I don't think I need to, to point out all these tautologies in everything I say. You know, if I say the objective existence of something, I don't then have to say the objective existence of something brackets something objectively existing close brackets and then move on to the end. I don't need to do that. Okay? okay. Objective existence really, of X I, I, I'm equals so I, I'm so sick of your fucking NK, NK, NK. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's, you know, I'm so sick of you, so everything you do annoys me and irritates me. Um, but, uh, yeah, we sort of do have to do the bracket thing. We do sort of have to do the math in the right order. You do have to do the logic in the right order, just like trigonometry or something. You know, there's an order. There's a pieces that have to be resolved first, and then you resolve the bigger pieces. And um, you sort of breaking those rules, okay, because you're breaking context. And that's really important. And fuck you for doing that. X is objectively existing. That says nothing about... X, it just is a thing. But then he goes on to to say to give an example. He says flat surface equals surface is flat. Now again, this is not the case. This is not the case. You know, just because we call something a flat surface does not mean the surface is flat objectively. It just means it's what we call a flat surface. It doesn't necessarily mean... Well, again, so now you've taken the context and you've added variables to his statement. So what the fuck is that crap? You, you, you talk about an intersubjective agreement and then your intersubjective agreement is I'm going to add words to what you said that will change the meaning of what he said. Flat surface equals surface that is flat. 
is a clearly one statement saying, saying flat surface. No, he didn't say he was saying flat surface. He wasn't saying, ah, from five miles away it looks like a flat surface, therefore it's a flat surface. He didn't say, it's an approximation I have that it's kind of flat. That wasn't the statement. The statement was, it's known to be flat. It's been established as flat. That was your premise in your statement that I will establish that it's objectively true that it is flat. And then you can't turn around and now say, now I'm going to use a different qualifier in the second part of this statement. So, I mean, you're just, you're just cheating the fucking logic all over the place, and you're cheating the language and cheating the words. You're just cheating. The very fact that you made this stupid, idiotic comment on a video that was claiming that other people are out of the bounds of reasonable philosophizing to claim that value exists when a sentient creature feels that a dead thing and a live thing are different things, that the living thing is different because it is capable of being harmed, and it really doesn't matter how hard you hit a dead thing with a two-by-four. I mean, fuck you, cunt. <laughs> yeah. We should, we should agree intersubjectively that you belong in the flabby fucking vagina category, you flapping flabby vagina. The surface is flat. Like... That, that's flat, isn't it? But if I look closely, there's lots of ridges and dents and ink bits and, you know, it's kind of bent a little bit. Is it still flat? Yeah, it still is, all right, because that's, again, we're back to this argument about what usage of the word we're using, and in common language, that would be acceptable. The range of flat is going to be pretty broad. Anything that doesn't isn't obviously wavy or obviously not flat, it's going to fit into the flat category, unless we're saying, well, let's be more precise, and let's put qualifiers on things stating how flat it is. But again, you don't you want to play fair. So again, now you're breaking the inner subjective agreement and now all of a sudden you're saying we can't say this is a solid object because we know theoretically that the atoms themselves um leave a lot of space between them and that this is mostly just empty space. And so now it's not a solid object. So now we'll take it out of a category it was perfectly su suited to because you're going to change the definition of the category. Well, that's fine. Change the definition of the category, but do it before, not after. Do it before the conversation starts about what everything means. Premise your conversation by saying, look, when I have a conversation, I don't think any words mean anything, because at any moment I'm going to change the standard by which we judge the, the definition of the category. And I'm going to now make it an explicitly only explicit, ex, exquisitely explicit statements can be made. Well, then you're going to have to have a different kind of conversation. And, and instead of having an hour-long video, it's going to be a 10-hour-long video, because everybody's going to have to qualify every statement they make. Because you're a fucking cunt. Depends on, depends on, your, it depends on, um... Yeah, whether you need to weasel out of an argument. That's all it does. It's quite obvious what it depends on. If you can't, if you don't have a counter-argument, then you'll just pull out your word-breaking game. I'm going to break the game. You're just like a fucking little kid who sits there and he's losing the game, and so he finds a way to accidentally knock it over. That's all you're doing. Fucking weasel. Depends on how critical you are of it, really. Depends on your tolerance. If people don't really care about the dents and the ridges, then it's flat. But if they do... Uh, it's not about whether they care, it's about whether you're establishing to what tolerance this do we need. What tolerance are needed for the conversation. If you're doing a nuclear power plant, well then flat's going to have to mean something. But we're not designing a nuclear power plant. That's not where this conversation is. 
and this conversation has already established, the premise has already been argued, that, yeah, we're going to try to stay in some sort of dome of reason, reasonable speculation. Is that fair enough? No, of course not, because in that dome you can't pervert the truth and create your alternative explanations and your contrary and contradictory realities. Fuck you. You suck. And there's an end of subjective agreement in place that says we need higher standards, then they're going to say it's not flat. Just like when people say, oh, the earth, the earth is round! Disprove it. It's like, well, it's quite easy to do because all I need to do is look out the window and see a building or a mountain. And I'm thinking, buildings aren't flat. Mountains aren't flat. Right, and so wheels on tires on cars aren't round because, yes, the weight compresses the bottom of the tire and therefore it's flat at the bottom. So, yeah, again, break the category when it's your, to your convenience. That's all you're doing. And they comprise the surface of the Earth. Therefore, you know, the Earth isn't flat. Uh, sorry, round. <laughs> well, um... But well, I mean, yeah, I mean, even that argument is so goddamn lame, because by the size of the Earth, the size of the buildings are so irrelevant to any kind of differential in surface roundness. The world isn't round because it isn't round. I mean, the more structural fact is, is the world is being distorted, okay? So it's, it's not a perfect circle. But who's arguing that it had to be in the first place? Oh, that's right, you, because you want to break the rules. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just an approximation we use, you know. I mean, it's not even the, the, the terrain of the Earth that's the Earth. I mean, we're, it's this atmosphere, uh, and the atmosphere isn't round either. It's not even spherical. It's not an oblate spheroid. It's just a regular thing. Yeah, right. So again, but we're not using words like spheroid, are we? No, we're not demanding any of that technical uh, precision. So again, this is just so bogus. We're using the word round as opposed to the word flat. And that category difference is obvious. It's obvious it's more round than it is flat. Shit for brains. The pulsating um, atmosphere that varies over time. It's called irregular. You know? And these people that try to apply regularities to it, fine. Apply regulations to things. You know? Apply measurements and standards to things. That's what we do as humans. That's what makes us so successful. But um, to then say that those regulations are truth. Well, that's right. I mean, there's absolutely no point in establishing them if you're not establishing what you hope to be the truth. If you're investing in something you aren't certain of as the truth, especially when you're investing something sentient or something that has a welfare, then you're twice as irresponsible. If you don't know you're doing the right thing and you're doing it to something else, then you fucking suck. I personally know you're doing the wrong thing. I know you're abusing, okay, you fucker. What you have in your little head as an idea is abusive, okay? And I know it, and that's why I want to say it, is because I'm confident. I'm certain of it. I'm certain you're fucking wrong. <laughs> that's it. And if you're not certain you're fucking right, then you shouldn't be fucking messing with it. You have no right to be messing with something else's welfare unless you know you're fucking right. It's the folly, you know, to believe that your map is the territory. That's the folly. Says what? Flabby vagina man. Fuck you. The, the, the folly is in sitting there and saying, oh, I can't tell the difference between round and flat. When there's two categories, I can't put anything in one or the other. There's nothing as perfectly round or perfectly flat. Therefore, I will make no judgments. Fuck you, useless bag of useless flabby vagina. Well, I think Trick... There's two, there's two scenarios I can imagine. Trick believes the math is a territory, okay, which makes him a fool. You know, it makes him perfectly reasonable. That's right. He believes we can create um, categories that are reasonably functional and purposeful to the function of logic and 
they can be to a high degree of reliability. And they don't have to be perfect categories, and the placements don't have to be explicitly perfect. And um, it'll be very functional to the arrangement of the puzzle pieces and understanding relationships and dynamics. And you're an asshole. A flabby, um, stupid, ignorant, um, derpity, derpity, derp, derp. Or Trix knows it's a model and doesn't tell all his buddies it's a model. Tell all the fools it's a model. So, uh, and that's why this video exists, to show Trick, to give Trick an opportunity to say, oh yeah, I am in error, it's a model. But, um, flat surface... Well, I don't even think that was the argument that, that was being made. So again, you're off subject again, straw man. People's surface is flat, yeah, but you have to define the standards involved. Um, just yeah, well, that's exactly what the effort was being made here is, right? So we make these videos talking about, in detail, extensively, okay, all of the conditional statements around how we are defining value giving it the context of evolutionary structure, replicating DNA molecule, mechanism to create um, attraction and repulsion so the organism will survive. Mechanism now becomes the more dominant feature of our existence by happenstance. Incidentally becomes important, okay, not necessarily entirely necessary for function perhaps, but it turns out that this outgrowth of this capacity to feel is a substantial event um, we define it as the quanta, the, the thing of value in the universe, that all the other non-sentient or dead things don't have any value, their welfare doesn't matter, and the thing that does matter is the welfare of these sentient things. So we construct this whole thing, contextual, careful categories, and you motherfuckers endorse a video saying that is bad philosophy. That's evil, nasty, malicious, messy, sloppy, monstrous philosophizing. Fuck you, cunt. All right, what do you want as a response to your fucking insult? What do you want to your hypocrisy, your grotesque hypocrisy? You don't go to this trouble. You don't make these arguments. You just sit on your flabby fat ass in the stand saying, oh, ain't it all awful everywhere. Bring on some more blood. I love drinking the blood of the Englishman. Or whatever the fuck you're doing. Fee, fi, fo, fat fucking thumbs. Because you say something is flat doesn't mean to say it is flat. Just because you say something is pretty doesn't mean it is pretty. Well, who's saying that? The trick never would do that. It's nothing he's ever argued. He wouldn't argue about subjective interpretations. <laughs> you stupid ass hole, and you know it. So again, straw man argument. Why don't you quote a real thing he's contending instead of these fake things you're making up? Oh, that's right. You can't go near the real subject because in with real, you don't have any counter-argument to these perfectly explicit logical statements he's making about what value is, you fucking flabby vagina. You know, pretty girl equals girl is pretty. But is that the case, but objectively speaking? Straw man, 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 straw man. Never, an argument never made by anyone. No one has argued about this subjective crap except you assholes. We have made explicit statements about we don't give a fuck what you like or dislike. What we give a fuck about is whether you're in a like condition or an unlike condition. Whether you are feeling good or feeling bad. We don't care what makes you feel good or what makes you feel bad. That is what we call ear-fucking-relevant. Okay, the only thing that's relevant is the fact that a sentient creature feels good or a sentient creature feels bad. That's all that matters. We don't give a fuck what kind of perverse nonsense pleases you. But I'm sure it's a big black dildo shoved up your stinking, lousy, cruddy ass. Um, but even still, you know, e even those errors in his examples are nothing like his error in equating those examples with my sentence. You know, because if, if we're going to say that my sentence falls in the purview of his argument, that's bullshit. 
We have to say the existence object the, the objective existence of values is the existence of values object. Yeah, whatever. You can't even remember your own preposterously stupid and inane sentence, shithead. You don't even quote your own stupid inane sentence in this stupid fucking cruddy description. So maybe you should just do that so everybody could just look at it and say, well, what the fuck good does this fucking remark you made on this fucking video? What fucking good does this do? Oh, that's right. It's completely un unproductive yammer bammer that is your typical shit comment that you make on videos. You never say anything explicitly or clearly. You always say everything in convoluted distortion speak, okay, because you're a fucking weasel. Okay. That's not what I said. Okay. Well, that's not what I said. I said the existence of, the objective existence of values does not mean the values are objective. That's not what you said. It's not what you fucking said, all right? We'll go back and find what you said, but that's not what you said, you stupid shit. Just like if I were to say 1 plus 1 equals 3. Okay. You said the objective existence of value. You didn't say values. I think that's pretty much one of the corrections. Well, anyway, I, but who, the, who the fuck cares? The point is, is what you said was shit, and you're just creating shit for no good reason. If that sentence exists objectively, does it then mean the sentence is objective? Um, no, it doesn't fit into any of the standards and rules and regulations on addition that we know. Um, therefore, it's a very poor opinion. Poor being a value doesn't apply to it intersubjectively. So anyway, um... I guess it can like like that that babble has anything to do with anything either. Again, it, what's poor is your communication skills. They're pitiful. Get sick of saying these things over the years, but you know, um, just to just to uh, who you today it does get a bit tired sometimes, but you know, I, I think some of you like trick. You know, I mean, so, some of you like. Boo boo or something. You know, somebody it's an idiot, right? They're probably encountering these arguments for the first time, or maybe the tenth time, and still not understanding them. Okay. There's nothing to understand, okay? Except you're a retard, okay? Okay? You're a retard, okay? Okay? <laughs> yeah. Your opinion's not qualified. You can't, you can't even get your camera correct. I mean, what the fuck is this? You're not a hot chick they are great text. Maybe you should move the camera up a little bit. I mean, you got an ugly face, but the rest of this isn't no fucking pleasure either. So, you can't even do this correct. You can't even get yourself in the frame on the goddamn video. And you're going to tell me who's smart and stupid? No, I think you're stupid. Oh, Trick is intelligent, and he is willing to discuss things. He's willing to see other people's perspectives. No bullshit. He's just a, he's just a whore, like, for whatever. Um, he's one of those sadistical, masochistic guys who likes to have big black dildo show, shoved up his nostrils. Uh, hence, you know, I hope this doesn't fall on deaf ears or delusional ears. Anyway. But, yeah, fuck you. You didn't say anything of anything reasonable or rational, so it was just useless mush. But what should be expected? So let's go find his jackass comment. Because I shouldn't have closed this video because I might need to come back to that. All right, shit philosophy, shit philosophy, the future. No, it can't be that one. I guess I'll have to open it. I thought I still had one of these copies somewhere, but I guess I don't. I gotta go find Lou Dice, fucking cunt, douchebag, shit for brain fucker, motherfucking jackass, crud fucker video. Yeah, there it is. Jump to the comments quickly, hopefully. I have really come to appreciate the anti-natalist uh, community here on YouTube. Liar. Said appreciation being rooted in the understanding of this. Liar, 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 liar.
Alright, let's go free text. I uh, made the re and uh, of course then little boy your fourth your fourth fourth mouth self indulgent self rices is your meal it's the same you really are food to others or well, whatever I don't even know who's who's responding to oh yeah ex atheist guy or anti nihilist guy or whatever the fuck terminus one keeps making nice little consistent stabs at them but you know I don't see what's up he's arguing with some idiot I am Escobar. Funny how you people always say how meaningless life is, but you seem to always ask for justifications. You people are lost. Right. I mean, really, we, we say how meaningless life is. Do we say that, really? Oh, no, that's a lie, Ian. That's right, you're a liar. You don't say it's meaningless. We say it's purposeless. Yeah, huge distinction. Different category altogether. It's another abusive language. What a surprise. Here's great. Here we go. All right. So he said the objective. You use the word values. Remember, you use the word values. See, it says the word value there. The objective existence of a value does not make the value objective, my effortless chums. The objective existence of a value, right? So he didn't say the objective existence of values are someone's values, are someone's statement of value, right? He didn't make it a clear sentence of what he was saying there, right? But that's what he wanted to say there, the objective existence of a value. No, he wasn't talking about a value. He was talking about a value judgment, a uh, value determination, a value impulse, a value, um, uh, wait, what's that word again, intuition, a value statement, um, so, so because it's a fact that I make a value statement and I say, um, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, there, I made a value statement. He's contending that, uh, he's making a profound argument by pointing out to us that that doesn't mean I'm pretty, pretty. Duh, right? I mean, I said duh before, but yeah, duh, duh. That's not part of this argument anywhere. The video is about how we haven't made clear arguments attempting to properly categorize things, and somehow we are making, we are committing all kinds of philosophical, philo, 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 philosopher crimes against humanity, in somehow proposing this idea that value is created when a sentient being breathes and experiences sensations. And that is so far out of the bounds of reasonable speculation or theorizing that we will be slandered by little fat tubby trolls like you. That's the video you commented on, cunt, with that incomprehensible sack of shit sentence. The objective... Ex so again, remember, he quoted himself incorrectly. He misquoted himself in his own video, right, to make himself sound like he wasn't as big a fucking asshole as he is, because his real comment is a sack of shit, pile of crap, incomprehensible sack of mush, the objective existence of a value, so when you say the objective existence of a value, again, how is anybody going to interpret that but to say, okay, so he's conceding the, the value is established as objective, that's what that could be rewritten as, pretty simply, right? The objective existence of a value could be stated as the 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 um, establishment of a, an objective value, or some other way of rephrasing that. And it says, does not make the value objective. Does not make the value objective. See, I mean, how can you make any sense out of that? I mean, it, what Trick did by saying you're not using language correctly, it seems quite obvious he's not using language correctly. He's basically said... The flat table is a table that is flat. I mean, he's done. He's just done it right there in front of us. And then in his own video, he changes his own quote, uh, remanufactures it into a value statement. Just like these assholes, when I say the word value, or I say value equation, and then they, they put the word morality in my mouth and say, so you're saying it's morally wrong to blah, 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 blah. 
I mean, he's doing the same shit to his own comment to save it from the fact that it's a piece of shit as a comment. And so this Luddite returns thinks is, is proper philosophizing, saying some convoluted mush of words that has no explicit meaning, that can't be consistently interpreted by ten different people, will have ten different interpretations of that idiotic sentence. And that, Luddite thinks, is acceptable conversation. That's acceptable philosophy. But people making hours and hours of videos tediously attempting to explain the reason they have placed things in certain categories and the exact math they did to drop those things into those categories, they will be, they will be accused of committing a crime, a thought crime against thinking. And someone's going to judge me for saying, Fuck you! Fuck you! Into the goddamn dirt, you fucking cheater! This is such goddamn bullshit to pull this kind of crap. To say I have to play the game like this, I have to start talking in, in what, triple speak? Sideways speak? Uh, you know, vector left speak? A bunch of lies speak is all that crap is. You dishonest motherfucking weasels. So yeah, well anyway. I mean, fuck this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck this bullshit. Fuck you, Gray Tex. Fuck you.